Who down with LLP? Yeah, y'all yeah, know, you me. know me. Yeah. It's time for another top five. Top five, top five, baby. Yo. This week on the Let Loose Podcast, we are going to do the top five heavyweight boxing champions of all time. Top five of all time. Yeah, yeah. Who you start at five, brother? I'll let you go first on this one. We'll go back and forth, back and forth. You know how we do, big brother. Who you got at five? Number five, man. I got Sonny Liston. Charles L. Sonny Liston. Ain't he ugly? <laughs> he was a professional boxer, competed from 1953 to 1970, a dominant contender of his era. He became the world champion. In 1962, after knocking out Floyd Patterson in the first round, repeating the knockout the following year in defense of the title. In the latter fights, he became the inaugural WBC heavyweight champion. Liston was known particularly for his immense strength, formidable jab, long reach, toughness, and his infamous imitating appearance. In 54 matches, he went 50 and 4. 39 wins by knockout. So two, that's my that's my freaking number five. Two of those four losses were to Muhammad Ali, just so it should be noted. And Sonny Liston was actually out of prison when he started his boxing career. He was actually a convicted killer. A right. lot of people don't know that. He was a killer in the ring. But it's a good pick yeah, at number yeah. five. Number five for me, I got Rocky Marciano. Only heavyweight to finish his career undefeated, 49 wins, zero losses. He boxed from 1947 to 1955. It was a short career for boxing. He had the chin, the knockout power at only five foot, 10 inches tall. 43 of his 49 wins were by knockout. He beat Joe Lewis in 1951 via TKO, which was Lewis's last fight, and everyone else he ever faced. As tough as they come. The Brockton Blockbuster, Rocky Marciano at number five. Every time, man, somebody got to pull Rocky Marciano out their ass. <laughs> hey, bro, he was that motherfucker was the truth. What you hear? That I man like was Rocky Marciano, man. Yeah, for real. Undefeated, too, bro. For real. Freaking undefeated. Yes, sir. So, number four, man, <laughs> I hate to say this because he's one of my favorites, Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson, I got Mike Tyson at four. Okay. I got Mike Tyson at four, man. Born June 30th, 1966. An American former boxer known as Iron Mike Kid Dynamite Tyson, bro. Mm. Known as the baddest man on the planet. He's considered to be one of the greatest heavyweight boxers of all time. He reigned as the undisputed world heavyweight champion from 1987 to 1990. Won his first 19 professional fights by knockout. 12 of them in the first round, bro. Oof. On this first belt at 20 years old, four months and 22 days, he is the youngest boxer to ever win the heavyweight title. So shout out to Iron Mike, Kid Dynamite Tyson. No question, top five, no question. There you go. <laughs> they give me so much shit. Can I at least get a blowjob? Can I at least get laid? I don't talk with chicks unless I fornicate with them. So what you want to, you know, <laughs> that's funny. Number four, I have George Foreman. Longevity at his best, bro. George mm -hmm. Foreman, 81 fights, bro. 76 wins of out of 81 fights, 68 of which came by knockout. That man lost five fights out of 81. That's crazy. Six right. foot four, big George, bro. Started his career 40 and 0 before losing the Rumble in the Jungle to Ali in 1974. Foreman beat Joe Frazier twice, both times via TKO. He beat Ken Norton TKO, fought his last fight at 48 years old, only knocked out once in his career in 81 fights, and that was to Muhammad Ali. George Foreman, the grill man, at number four. Number three, I got to agree with you, man. Rocky Marciano was a bad boy, man, for real. Like you say, 5'10", full of power, man, and spunk, man, for real. Born September 1st, 1923. He's an American professional boxer who competed from 1947 to 1955, held the world heavyweight champion from 52 to 56. He is the only heavyweight champion to finish undefeated. His six title defenses were against Jersey Joe Walcott, 
who he took the title from, Roland Lestarza, Ezra Charles, Don Cockle, and Archie Moore. So Rocky Marciano, man, started out strong, ended strong, one of the top boxers ever of all time. No question. And a lot of them names, a lot of people who listen to this podcast have aren't going to have no idea who those guys were, but at least two or three of those guys he faced back then were considered like killers. So, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Top back guys. in the day, you don't hear about all that. You just hear about the ones that were more concurrent with your generation, maybe the generation before yours, but yeah, he beat top guys back then. He had, he beat everybody they had to offer. He's definitely top five. Number three on my list, Iron Mike Tyson. Got to agree with you, bro. Got to go with Iron Mike. He was the most dominant fighter early on in his career that I've ever seen with killer punching power. If he had kept his poise and kept training hard and he stayed hungry, I don't think he ever loses to Buster Douglas, even though Buster Douglas lost his mom right before that fight. And, and he just had an unleashed cage animal dogging him that night. It was just his night. He can't take nothing away from Buster Douglas. He, he earned it. He knocked Tyson ass right out with shock the world, man. So I don't want to take nothing away from him, but I just think if Tyson would have kept his poise, kept doing him, Tyson didn't take that fight serious. He was sleeping with women, doing drugs, you know. So uh, I don't think he ever loses that fight, if not. But between the drugs, the women, and the untimely prison sentence where he had to go into prison during the peak of his career, after all of that, Tyson may have became the greatest undisputed boxing champion we have ever seen. Finished his career with 58 fights and 50 wins, 44 by knockouts. Iron Mike at number three. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's my boy, man. For real, shout out, Mike, man. So great, great podcast too, by the way. Oh yeah, definitely. What it hot the, the hot box, right? Hot boxing with Mike Tyson, yeah. baby. Hey, so number two, man. I got Jack Johnson, man. Jack Johnson, the Galveston Giant, man. For real, he was a boxer in 1908 to 1915. He's one of the most influential boxers in history, and his fight against James Jeffries was dubbed the fight of the century. He beat all these guys, bro, man. He actually went, he actually went 77, 11, and 11. Because back in those days, man, they were going 20 rounds, bro. Freaking slobber knockers, bro. Right. And they fought a lot more fights back in the day. They right. Were like six months a year like, before fights. That wasn't no, the case. Like back every then. like every, every week. Other week, every month. Like right. That, right. For real. Yeah, this man was a freaking brute, bro. For real, man. He he freaking was one of the best champions or whatever, like I say, man. And like I say, the conditions or whatever, man, like the, the gloves wasn't padded, like the uh, damn near bare knuckle. Right. You feel me? And this man then fought 95 fights, 172, lost 11, and draw in 11, bro. So that's crazy as hell, bro. You got 11 draws, bro, for real. Y'all done went 20-something 20, 20 freaking rounds, bro. Like, that shit used to go to, like, over, 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 over time. These motherfuckers fighting for, like, Three, four hours, bro, killing each other, and that shit goes into a draw. Man, that's crazy, bro. For yeah. real. But he's one of the, he, he's one of the toughest SOBs, man, that I've seen out here. Or whatever, man. Y'all got to look up Jack Johnson, man. For real. Good pick. Definitely influential. I'm gonna keep it influential for my number two. Number two, I got Joe Lewis, the Brown Bomber, world champ from 1937 until his temporary retirement in 1949. He was victorious in 25 consecutive title defenses, record for all weight classes, 69 total fights, 66 wins. That man lost three fights. That's crazy. 52 of those 66 wins were by knockout. He beat legendary fighters James J. Braddock, which they made the movie Cinderella Man about, played by Russell Crowe. Mm -hmm. and and he beat max bear who was considered a killer back then massive power massive strength he was a monster he also had a stint in the army during world war ii because he wanted to make a difference also he's also credited with aiding and breaking racial barriers in numerous things um such as uh pga golf when he did sponsorship for him um mm -hmm. help breaking barriers definitely influential to say the least uh, Joe Lewis, man, definitely a top five boxer all time. His record speaks for itself, man. Stellar. So we don't even have to really tell y'all who Dude, our top yeah, number is. one is if he if he ain't it, your it, number one, right, get the fuck real. out. Hey, cash is cash is clay, man. Muhammad, Muhammad Ali. Ali yes, sir. Real man. He he's beat them all, bro. He's beat them all. Beat them all, bro. Real. Whoever you want, Sonny Liston, uh, 
Forget what? about it. He twice. Whipped him twice. Whipped him twice. Beat Frazier twice. You well, know come saying? on, man. Beat Ernie mm-hmm. Shavers. Beat Foreman in the Rumble and the Jungle. Form, Nobody right. thought he – dude, hold up. The greatest. 61 total fights this man had. 56 wins, 37 by knockouts. Like we said, he beat them all, bro. Beat all them cats. Mm-hmm. He did – so many times this man did the impossible – all odds against him from winning the title from Liston the first time in 1964 to reclaiming it back in 1974 against Foreman when he was 32 years old in Africa after the title was stripped away from him after his refusal to serve in the military. He won the title back at 32 years old. All odds against him. He might even doubt it himself at some point. Like, can I really do this? Can I? Yes, you could. And yes, you did because you were the greatest of all all time right best tra- best trash talking son of a bitch ever what? ain't he ugly he too ugly Come to be the on. world champ the world champ should Bro. be pretty like me you know what right. i'm saying like ali dude ali was that dude like he had the, the whole best. he deleted everything he, dude he defeated you mentally before during and after the fight and he defeated you physically like right, you just you you had nothing on ali ali was unquestioned like undoubtedly no debate, the best heavyweight, best boxer, period, of all bro, time. Bro, because he can move. He can move like he was a freaking featherweight, bro. That's the thing, bro. He can move. He can duck all that stuff, and he's still hitting with power. Man, he had one fight, bro. He knocked the dude out. He knocked the dude down four times, bro, in the fight. Hit him 100 times. The guy only hit him three times, bro. Right. Three times in an entire fight, bro, for real, so. Like, this man is just amazing, bro, for real. Like I say, defense, impeccable. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything, bro, this man does, bro. Everything about Muhammad Ali, bro, is greatness. Is the greatest of all time in our book. Greatness personified. And Layla Ali, his daughter, she's bad. She's the greatest of what she did, bro. bro. It's, it's genes, bro. Like, bro. Muhammad Ali was the best to ever do it. Please, somebody come on here and tell me I'm wrong or I'm mistaken or I'm missing something. Mm-hmm. Who's y'all top five? Who's y'all top five heavyweights? Top five heavyweight boxers of all time. Hell, give us welterweight. Give us cruiserweight. Whatever weight. I don't care. Whatever. Give us top mm-hmm. five boxers of all time. If somebody puts Mayweather in there, I will delete you from my channel. 